everyone! I've built suburban houses, modern houses, tiny houses, and even different shape houses, but I've never built a cottage house. So I found this cute green cottage for us to recreate, and I have no clue how we're gonna do those roof trim design thingies, but I know that we will definitely at least try. So let's start. Cute. So we've got a little bit of a porch. I'd say that's about two blocks wide. What is that? Oh, I see a little window at the bottom. Oh, it's got like a basement. So we're gonna make this four blocks wide. We're gonna make it go backwards, I think by two blocks, and we're gonna have a porch here. Maybe actually I'll make it go back by three blocks. I guess now we just have to enclose it. A mansion cottage house would be pretty interesting. <laughs> not a Dumbledore, it's a regular door. I'm kind of tempted to use this one, but it's not curved at the top, so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go for, I guess, the French door. I don't see it being any wider on this part, so it's a very basic blocky shape. For the porch, I'm gonna use the roof and I'm just gonna outline it over here and then I'm gonna raise it up by a little bit. And now we need to get the right pillars for the exterior. I need the trapezoid. Why am I thinking trapezoid? That is not what I'm tapered. Okay, let's put the pillars in these corners. Gonna have to recolor them. I have never in my life been inside of a cottage house, but I, I want to go in. I feel like I will be so cozy. Now we have to go make the roof up top. It looks like a gable. Yeah, it's a gable roof. Don't know if we're gonna be able to replicate it in the way that we want, cause yeah, it's gonna make it go sideways, which we don't want. So they've got a balcony. It's definitely closed here. Maybe I'm gonna make it like this. Cause I mean, we don't know how the back looks like, but we can make it look like, no, it's not gonna work because of the roof, right? I need to do an experiment. Let's do an automatic roofing. Yes, yes, Bloxburg, you know exactly what I mean. I mean, it kind of looks like that, but not exactly because the gable roof on this side is coming out like all the way here. You know, the way it's structured, it almost makes me feel like this wall comes up until this point. But that's not right. That doesn't make sense. But it's also, it's just, you can see the window through the gable roof that's above the porch. But if we place the gable roof like this, but leading all the way here, then this whole room becomes unusable. And we don't want that to be unusable. We wanna have a window here and it's gonna be open ideally. You know, there's not gonna be a wall there. It's like pointed very high up. And this feels like it's pointed too high up, but you know what? I'll just give it a try. That's pretty good for a fake gable roof. But we have this little part and I don't know what to do about this. Getting distracted. Okay, we want this to extend by a lot to that and we want it to go up really high. Ooh, I feel like that's ugly. Like that's not right. Second try. <laughs> oh, what? Why? Why does that always happen? I, now I have to go all the way here and I can't go there fast enough. Please work out, please work out. Yes, that looks more like the photo. We're getting somewhere, I'm gonna delete this wall and bring it all the way there. Oh, and that fixes our issue that we were having with our fake gable roof. Not vibing with the top of the roof, to be honest. Do you see this issue that's happening? Either sand green or artichoke, but I'm really leaning into sand green. And now at the bottom over here, it's just a bunch of stone. I think we have a similar one. It literally reminds me of this. And I guess I'll put it all around. In the photo, it looks like the path just goes straight down, right? I feel like it's coming out a little too gray. Can I make these wider? <gasps> You can! I didn't even know! Honestly, the door looks like uh, a sort of dark wood. Maybe just brown, honestly? I'm gonna do the roof trims and I'm gonna cry while I do it. Change the grid size to make my life easier and we're just gonna start off with placing these up at the top. We've gotta replicate that. I don't know what to use. It kind of splits in the middle too. So, I mean, I could try to get away with doing this to kind of replicate that design. This balcony comes out one block out of the building like this. That's what it looks like. What kind of fence is that? Oh man, am I gonna have to use this one again? I don't wanna use that one. I think all we're left with is this basic railing. And now we're gonna do the other trim thingies. <laughs> now we have a curved one. Can I get away with using this arch? I'm gonna try. No, we can't. Maybe if we use one of these and we try curving it like this, it could work. But I think it needs to be thicker. Is this too thick? It starts around the middle, okay. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. I could use this. We have a standard square beam right beneath it in the center. I think that's kind of centered. Now the curve is gonna be the hardest part of this, but we will try. The large one is too large. Look at that, that's so thick. Maybe if I play it smart like this. Yikes, <laughs> that's all I have to say. Uh, my perfectionism is going to hurt my feelings. Maybe I can use this. I've been sat here for maybe 30 minutes just trying to get this right. Are we able to pretend that this is okay? <laughs> 
I feel like no. I think that's as best as I'm gonna get it. I'm not even kidding. We've also got down here something, don't even know what that is. Is that matching? Honestly, a little bit. It, it actually matches. I have to duplicate this over here? Why? Well, there's been a an attempt here. I layered these structurals like four or five times to make it match up a little bit better from the distance. I'm sort of noticing that at the very top here, it doesn't continue to be green planks. Logs is actually a good bet. I'm gonna go for logs and I'm gonna put it on this roof as well. I'm noticing that there's another curved thing right below this. I really don't wanna replicate that. Oh, I don't even know how to go about that, but there's something going on there. I think it's called paneling, but it's not for the whole wall. Wait, no. Am I just noticing this? How did I take this long to notice that? What if I make one block there and then two like this? Can the paneling only go on these two? Yes. It's a little bit of a darker green, isn't it? It's got like a design all over it. I do see a pillar. Well, it looks like a pillar. Now, what sort of lighting would a cottage have? It would be so suitable to have this, right? And you can't have a house like this without a lantern. Do we stick to the French door? I'm seeing so many outlines around the door. I don't even know if we have that in Bloxburg. Yeah, like see, this one's got a molding around it, but still not enough. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Ooh, but that pillar. Is there a pillar that's meant to actually be there? I kind of put it there because I expected it to be. We're gonna create that design that we see around the window. Look at the positions I am putting myself in to try and do this. I don't think I'm gonna recreate that thing we see here. I mean, I can definitely add the fence, but I think that's as much as I'm gonna do. Let me just get this out of my system. That's a custom window. Whatever, it works. I don't understand why that exists. It looks really weird. Also, it looks like it's a little white there. Small details, but I'll do it anyways. It's gonna look so ugly from the inside, but that's what it looks like from the outside. I don't make the rules. I don't even know what that is. Are those doors? That's a door. Door? I think that's a door. I mean, how else would you get out here? Maybe the, the this window over here is actually a door that looks like this. I mean, that would make more sense to me. I don't understand. <laughs> I think I will just go for the door that I brought up earlier. Maybe I'll pretend that this is a door too. Ooh. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the modern window and I'll resize it. It's not matching as much as I'd like it to. Wait, I have a very weird idea that may be possible. Bloxburg is not liking what I'm doing. <laughs> I can't really tell if there's wall trim around, but I will guess that at the top, maybe there's like a wooden wall trim or something. We could use the flat crown molding and we're just gonna put it all around because I feel like it'll suit the aesthetic that we have going on here. I was telling myself that like, oh, you know, I didn't make this house big enough, but now I'm making the floor plan. I'm like, we have a lot of space. <laughs> Entryway, kitchen, bathroom, living room, bathroom number two, bedroom number one, bedroom number two. Usually in these types of cottage homes, I either see these planks or like these ones. I think I'm gonna go for linen. For the kitchen, we're gonna choose a different sort of floor. Ooh, wait, why is it connecting? What? I think this one could work. And then for the bathroom, I'm gonna go for the diagonal marble. We can bring up like a really tall wall trim. Maybe we could do this. Yeah, I think that looks pretty okay. At least I hope so. And then for the kitchen, we do want, I'm thinking of these like, these bricks. Yeah, maybe red. Don't know that's too much. I'm trying to go for a bit of a softer color. I think I'm gonna go for copper. Do we put that there? I feel like no. I don't know. I, I This is way out of my comfort zone. I have not built like this before. Log furniture is probably the way to go over here. I'm genuinely scared to recolor this. I tried to go for like dark brown, but I don't know if that's a good match. Should I leave it? Okay, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Now for the kitchen, let's go into our counters. We have so much space in this kitchen. I think I'm gonna use the rustic counters. I think that's the best bet for a cottage house. I don't know. I'm just placing things at random right now. Oh yeah, and we're gonna fit our dining table in here somewhere as well. Oh wait, I didn't put windows. Windows. These are the vibe of the windows that we have for the house. Okay, so one window there and then what about the bathroom? We're gonna get a really small window for the bathroom. Not like a really tall one. I usually do really tall ones. We're gonna get something like this maybe. No, no, you know what? I wanna get my usual windows. They look so nice when I have them. You know what else? Just put an oak shelf right there. Boom, now you can put a vine plant. That'll be nice. Our dining area, I want it to be near the window. I do want this to be budget friendly. So far it's 40K, so maybe it's not that budget friendly. But to be fair, I did spend a lot of money on structurals. That's that's good. That's very good. <laughs> How do you open these though? So many questions. Look, look, in Bloxburg, it doesn't matter. You can open it just fine, but in real life, maybe not so realistic. And now, you know what we're gonna do? Something amazing. I love doing this. We're gonna put mugs up here. Can you reach them? Probably not, but it looks nice and that's what matters. They're like your special collection of mugs. Should we have this over here? That is so cottage, cottage core. <gasps> what if I put it right here? 
Oh, that's cute. Wait, yeah. Now, we're gonna move on over to the living room. I do like being able to see who's going upstairs, but this isn't a bad idea either. I think I'll just leave it as is because it makes it feel even cozier. So, for anybody who's wondering how to make a custom carpet, you need the basement's game pass. With that, we're gonna create a basement. You go down here and now you're gonna place three basic shapes, cubes. One, two, three. Now we're also gonna go into structurals. We're gonna get the standard beam, put it like this, that again. And now we're gonna grab this one. We're gonna resize it around. I mean, it really varies. Sometimes it's like seven, sometimes it isn't. I don't know why it varies. Now for the important part, go into storage. You're gonna get an oak shelf. Just place it like right here. You're gonna get a painting. I'm gonna do a round carpet. So I'm gonna go for the round painting. I'm gonna put it on the corner here. And now you're gonna watch some magic happen. You're gonna place the basic shape with a painting. Now you're gonna place the shelf right over here. There it is, look at that. Now it's facing upwards. It's gonna be a carpet. There it is. See, now I made it a little too high, so I need to resize this bottom one. I can never get it right. <laughs> but disclaimer, you can't put the furniture, any furniture on top of this painting. So you have to make sure that you already placed it from beforehand. Maybe this could be like a, a little reading area next to a toilet. <laughs> wow, I like that. We still need more things though, for sure. Why am I panicking? I'm panicking right now. I don't know why. I think it's because I am suddenly noticing that, yeah, I have very limited time. I still haven't gone upstairs. Okay, I need to move away from from the bathroom, I'm so sorry. I really wanna do more, but <laughs> as you can see, I need to kinda hurry. That's the custom closet that I really like making. We're only gonna be able to fit a single bed, which is pretty, it's fine. I think I'll create a study nook. Oh, where could I even have one? I mean, I could have it here. I don't know what's gonna be there. Maybe a bookcase? I'm gonna look for a pre-made one so I can be quick. Now for this bedroom, yeah, I'm gonna do the same custom thing that I made here. And now for the bed, I think I'm just gonna literally copy this bed. I just realized I didn't add windows. <laughs> I forgot. I said, oh yeah, let me add windows. And I only added them downstairs. I need to put more floor plants. Like everywhere. Plants, plants, plants. We need a ton. I think I did something a little wrong with the dimensions. Like I feel that this balcony should not be this large. <laughs> I need to stop, I need to stop. Okay, that's it, that's it, I'm stopping. We finally finished and the house costs 117,000. This is the exterior and whoa, I've never made a cottage house before, but I've gotta be honest, this turned out really cool and really fun. I really like it. Ignore the fact that it says that I'm stinky, all right? So this is our porch, super nice. This is the entrance immediately. It feels super cozy. This is the kitchen, very cool. Really like what we made up there. This is our dining area. I put a little picnic basket up top because it just seems really suitable. And over here, if we turn to our left, we have our bathroom. This is our custom bathtub and our custom mirrors. It feels really nice and cozy as well. And over here is our living room. Very nice, very cool. Love what we did. We go upstairs. We are. We have our little study nook. This is our huge balcony. I feel like something's up with it. Like we definitely did not understand the image correctly, but it's so right. Over here is our bathroom, the second one with our, you know, amenities for laundry, but no shower because we couldn't fit one, unfortunately. Here is the bedroom. It is very small, very cozy, and our custom wardrobes. I really like making these. I think they're awesome. Super cute photo of a cat. <laughs> we have this other bedroom, same thing with the wardrobes. Love these wardrobes so much. And you know, we messed around a little bit. It looks really nice. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.